Hello, my name is Andrew Jakubowicz, and uh, just going to make a short video about uh, an experience I had with uh, Pivot uh, Physical Therapy in Dover, Delaware, and uh, the positive outcome from that experience. Uh, a few weeks ago, on a Monday, I experienced a pretty traumatic back injury by bending over, very simple act, but it inflamed my sciatic condition and basically paralyzed me to, to the point where I couldn't walk, I couldn't stand, I couldn't sit, I could only lie down basically, and even then it was very painful to do that. I had pain in my lower back and pain uh, down both legs to the point that I was uh, non-functional. So I uh, immediately didn't know exactly what to do. I was uh, kind of uh, just traumatized by the amount of pain that I was in and with the fact that I had to uh, be able to run a full marathon, 26.2 miles, within two weeks. And I was in the final stages of my preparation for that marathon. Uh, I, I run the Boston Marathon every year. And uh, the Boston Marathon was in October this year. And it was just two weeks away from uh, the time where I got injured. So I called up uh, a friend of mine from the running group. His name is Janesh Gandhi. And uh, he happens to be uh, office manager for the Pivot phys uh, Physical Therapy offices in Dover. And I called him up and said, I told him what my problems were. And he got me in right away and uh, set me up with some physical therapy. Uh, in addition, I did see my primary care physician and got some medications to help with some of the immediate inflammation and pain just to kind of make it so that I could uh, function and go to work and go to the bathroom and walk. And uh, yeah, so I got into physical therapy on Tuesday or Wednesday, like within the next 24 hours, I was in the physical therapy office getting physical therapy done. And uh, he gave, Janess gave me some uh, exercises to do every day. He gave me some uh, you know, strength bands to use and also using the IF unit, which is kind of like a TENS unit, but it's an IF unit for stimulating the muscles and loosening up the seized muscles in my back. And I uh, continued to do physical therapy from that day. I, I uh, did the exercises three to four times a day on my own. And I went to the physical, off, physical therapy office every day with a few exceptions for the next couple of weeks. And uh, over the, the, the next week or so, I was able to finally uh, walk uh, somewhat normal and to sit for uh, a small period of time, but was not able to run still. And uh, I, uh, I think I can, but what I'll try to do is put a little clip in here of me attempting to run after a week or so of physical therapy and the progress I made from not being able to walk to that modified kind of run. So there's a clip right here. Continued on with my physical therapy. I continued on with my medications as well to kind of reduce the pain. Did my exercises again three to four times a day. Did heat uh, compresses as well as uh, ice packs as well and just, just did as much as I could to kind of loosen my back up to kind of get the pressure off that sciatic nerve and uh, ultimately uh, even though I wasn't able to run until the day before the Boston Marathon I did go to the Boston Marathon I did run the Boston Marathon and I did qualify again to run the Boston Marathon next year so uh, here's a couple of clips of me running the Boston Marathon uh, two weeks after my traumatic injury to my back and uh, yeah here are a couple of clips of me running Boston Marathon enjoy that So finally, 
I'm done with the Boston Marathon. I'm back. I've taken a, a week off uh, from running since my legs are very sore. Uh, my experience during the marathon uh, was positive. I did feel a little bit of some back pain during the marathon, especially in the later miles when I get really tired. And, uh, and then also just general muscle soreness from the distance, from running 26.2 miles uh, fairly fast and uh, doing a lot of downhills in that race, which really does uh, tax your, your quads and hamstrings and that kind of thing. So that's typical for me, but I was able to successfully finish the marathon in three hours and five minutes, averaging seven minute miles, which is enough for me to qualify to go next year. And uh, now I'm getting ready to go out on my first run since the Boston Marathon. I'm just gonna go out for a couple of miles just to jog a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get a couple shots of that as well and see how I feel, see if there's any uh, nerve pain back in my legs or back pain of any kind. I just finished doing my exercises as well for uh, strengthening my core and lower back. And um, let's see how it goes. Let's go for a little jog. All right, well, we got that run done just in time for rain to come down. And if you hear the roaring in the background, that's uh, the waves of Lake Ontario just pummeling in the shore right now. There's a storm coming through. But anyway, we got a couple miles in. Uh, legs are still very sore from running a marathon on Monday. Quads are just screaming at me. Knees hurt a little bit. Calves are tight. But the nerve pain from my back injury is not a problem. Uh, it's very good so uh, I'm going to continue doing my exercises so just want to close out this video saying thank you thank you thank you to Pivot Physical Therapy and especially Janesh and his team for taking me in for getting me back on the road to recovery and getting me through the Boston Marathon for 2021 onward and upwards from here have a good day